All right, maybe you're going to a holiday party mm -hmm. or you're doing a winter vacation. Uh -huh. Might have you reaching for some of the self-tanner to get you party ready. Yeah, and photo ready. So uh, ending up with streaks, that's very common, and, but it also can be tricky to fix. So the you know, I don't know about you, but when I use self-tanner, I end up with streaks and blobs and stuff everywhere. Or I get to about the end of the week and part of it's faded and part of it's still there. So I'm always looking for a way to get that off. So when I tell you I can clean anything, I mean it. Today I'm going to tell you how to take self-tanner off your skin. The first thing is so easy and when you're using it for a big area, you want to use baking soda. So I would use this if I was going to do my legs or my arms and just kind of freshen them and exfoliate and get ready to put more tanner on. So I'm going to just take this and make a little paste in a bowl with a little bit of water and spread that on to my arms and my legs and work it in. And you know what? You can use a microfiber cloth, which works beautifully because they're little scrubbing fingers. Now, that will take it off really well. When you're done, make sure you moisturize it, especially if you're going to put on more self-tanner. Now, another way to do it, you can use lemon juice. And I've done this before when I've had places like my heels and my hands and things like that. Put it on, let it sit for a few minutes. It takes it right off. It does a really good job. And if you have small areas like your fingers, maybe on your knuckles, you end up with it on there, on your toes, any place like that, you can use, just take a soft toothbrush and some toothpaste. And I like the plain old fashioned white toothpaste for this. Put it on, scrub it in, and that will take it off. Now, if you don't wanna go this route, they do make exfoliators that are specifically for when you have self-tanner boo-boos, as I call them. Now, this one is Model Company uh, Tan Remover. There's tons of them out there. You know what, I'll be honest. This other stuff was free, basically, and it worked just as well. But whichever way you wanna go, that's fine. Remember, rinse your body well after you've put any of this on, and moisturize it again after you've exfoliated. But these will make your self-tanner look smooth and beautiful all the time. For more information, go to queenofclean.com. Thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean. And I would say make sure it's a shade that's close to your normal skin color or everybody will notice that you have a tan, and a fake tan. Anybody that does that as their business will tell you. And uh -huh. what I always hear from them, moisturize, moisturize, yes. moisturize. Because if your skin is dry, yeah. it's just... It's, it's just not gonna going crack to crack, well. and no, yeah. it won't stay. And yeah. so you got to make sure you're up in the moisture game when you get mm -hmm. a spray tan or you do self tanning. Yeah.